Hello, my friends. So today we're gonna do a really fun um, art project using cardboard and yarn. And we're going to make a loom and we're gonna do some weaving. So find yourself a nice flat piece of cardboard. It doesn't need to be gigantic. And I'm gonna show you how to make a loom out of a piece of cardboard. And then I'm gonna show you really easy peasy um, uh, uh, weaving techniques and we'll go from there. I'll show you a completed piece and I'll show you how to actually do it. It's so simple. So I've got a nice little small piece of cardboard. Mine is a rectangular shape. And you're gonna see that I have uh, used a ruler and marked out some lines here and right directly across the same thing. So we wanna make sure that we have a nice straight line right across. Then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to cut right along here about not very very deep like maybe a half inch depending on how big of a loom you're making so i've got a little i've got all these pieces cut right along there okay so there's your loom believe it or not this is really all you have to do so now we need to string our loom so we're going to take a nice long piece of yarn i've got some purple yarn here and you're going to need a couple of pieces of tape too so let's start off with some yarn and then I'm gonna take a piece of tape and I'm going to tape my yarn right onto my loom. Just like a so. Just like that. Okay, dope. So now let's learn how to string this loop, this uh, loom. So I'm gonna take my yarn right through this slit, just like that, and it's gonna come across. All right. Now I'm gonna go next door to the next little slit and go across the street. Then you're gonna go next door and across the street. Next door and across the street. Next door and across the street. Next door and oh, across the street. Just like that. Easy, we just strung our loom. How easy is that? So I'm going to make a little cut here because we don't need a bunch of extra yarn. And take my tape and tape it on the back. So there is the front part of my loom that has been strung. This is what the back of it looks like. The front and the back. So now you can gather some more yarn or you can use the same color yarn. You can use different textures of yarn. And I've got an example made up here of another loom. It's green and I've taken a nice long piece of red yarn. I like to tape my yarn on the end of a popsicle stick because it helps me to weave. But basically friends, you're gonna tie a knot on the end of the space where you're gonna start weaving, all right? And you're going to scoop under and over and under and over and under and over. And you can give it a little pull through. And you're gonna bring that yarn right through there. Boom. And then you're gonna keep going. If you've gone under, you wanna do the opposite on the next. So I went under this yarn, so now I'm gonna go over the next one. Skip and scoop. That's what we say when we do a weaving idea at the rec center. I say skip and scoop, all right? So let's do another one, all right? So I'm skipping and then I'm gonna scoop and I'm skipping over one and I'm scooping and I'm skipping and I'm scooping and I'm skipping and I'm scooping, skip and scoop. There we go. And then I pull it all the way through and I keep going. Now, little hints, you don't wanna pull too tight. Look what happens when I pull too tight then the ends start squeezing in. So we wanna try to keep it kind of loose so it's nice and even. And I have a completed one here for you. When you get all the way done with that one color yarn, you can get the same color if you want, or you can get another one. My friend Jayla made this beautiful where she went through all the colors. She said she wanted it to look like a sunset. So there you go. So simple. So when you're all completed, it can stay on this piece of cardboard. And this cardboard, then the ends, uh, the edges of it can be colored up with um, 
marker or a paint or whatnot to kind of decorate it up to make it look like a frame. And how beautiful is that? So easy. If we wanted to take it off of the loom, we would cut right in between there and then bring it through and tie knot it together. So we'd wanna make sure that it's all knotted together so that your beautiful yarn doesn't come off of your beautiful loom, or off of your beautiful weaving. Okie doke, my friends. So this is just super simple, super beginner, super beginner. You can get all kinds of fancy looms online because weaving is the thing anymore. If you really wanna know more about weaving, Miss Kendra at Driving Park makes the most gorgeous, Weavings. I mean, they are these beautiful wall hangings. So you'll have to check with her sometime and see if she does those at her rec center because those would be fun, a fun class to take. Um, so there you go, friends. Cardboard and yarn. Who knew? So simple things that we have hanging around the house. So I hope that you're all doing well. The summer is started. Sun is shining. We've got lots going on in this world, but we always can take time to take care of ourselves and create. It's a great way to really let our feelings out. And I just want you all to make sure that you're being safe, being kind, being respectful, and being responsible. Kiss your brains, hug your hearts. If you're feeling overwhelmed, you smell that birthday cake, blow out the candles. It's always the right time to do the right thing. All right, loveys, take care of each other. We'll see each other soon.